everyone welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video in today's video we have got a winter to spring transitional haul from boohoo so by the time january rolls around i always start thinking about my like spring wardrobe and I always seem to just work on a season ahead. So in the winter, I'll be thinking about spring. In the spring, I'll be thinking about summer. And in the summer, I'll be thinking about winter. Sorry, that's Ralphie pushing the tripod when he doesn't get attention. He likes to shake you guys around to let you guys know that he is the most important. <laughs> totally distracting. And that is his actual intention. Okay. Okay, you go back to bed, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. So I generally work out a list of what staples I want in my wardrobe, so in the spring, because we're working on the spring now. And then I'll go through my wardrobe and see like what's missing out of that list. And then I'll start looking for those key pieces. So that's the kind of mindset I've gone with, with the Boohoo Transitional Haul. And if you're starting from scratch, I always suggest using Primark or Boohoo, but investing in the key pieces staples that are gonna like last you for a long time not trends and they'll keep you stylish until you can afford to swap them out for like better quality brands so yeah like i always say you can look stylish on a budget and then once we've cracked the staples that is going to see us through the season, we can then, if we want to, jump on little trends throughout each season and just buy the odd little trend piece to keep our wardrobe, like, relevant and, like, on trend, if you want to. I'm getting less and less bothered about trends as my style evolves. Anyway, before we get into it, I just wanted to quickly say there's a few ways you can support me and this channel and that is to like this video, comment down below because I love to chat with you guys down there but what I really want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you like fashion and home decor, interior stuff and then I do post the weekly blog as well with like beauty and hair and all sorts of little bits and bats. What am I trying to say? Yeah, if you guys like that sort of thing, then you're going to love it over here. I would be very, very grateful to have you over here. But even if you guys just liked this video, you don't understand how much that helps the channel out. So I really do appreciate you all. I have styled up each piece that I will be showing you throughout this video to give you guys some sort of indication of how I will be wearing the items. For reference, I am 5'3 in height and I am currently a UK size 12 to 14. All the items you see in this video will be linked down below in the description box. And if you want to see more styling options, head over to my Instagram. It's at Susie Darling. Okay, the first item is this one. And it is a monochrome slouchy cardigan. Now, if you're a regular on my channel, you're going to know this is an actual wild card for me. I generally stick to a neutral wardrobe because it saves me a ton of money and I sound like a stuck record. I realise that. Let's not go into the neutrals. However, I saw this and I felt like it gave me all the YSL vibes. Now, if you've seen the YSL cashmere cardigan, I just feel like there's something about a monochrome outfit that really looks. So I saw this and I thought, let me try it out. So see if I can style it. So it's described as a long line slouchy cardigan. And I picked it up from the Boohoo Petite range. And like I said, I'm five foot three. So it's ivory and black. They also do it in the opposite colorway. So black cardigan, ivory, like piping detail and I picked this up in a size medium to large I do like a slouchy overfit anyway and for the sake of transitioning into spring I thought how nice would this be with a pair of like culottes black culottes and some simple black um shades sunglasses when you're doing the coffee run or the school run or you're just nipping about doing errands and you want to hide behind your big black shades and a nice monochrome slouchy cardigan, a pair of black 
staple trousers. And then coming into more of the spring warmer weather, I thought this would be nice with a really large oversized tote bag, which are going to be massive this year. I think we're all over the small, tiny bags now. We're realising we need a lot more <laughs> oversized black sunglasses, slouchy cardigan and some nice sandals. How nice would the Chanel granddad sandals look with this cardigan? Or some nice, simple black ballet flats. Also, the reason why I want you to come and follow me over on Instagram is because by the time I finish doing a video and filming, my mind goes over time with building outfits together and putting outfits together and I always think of the best ones after I've done the video, which is really bloody annoying. And then obviously I go and style them up over on Instagram. So I don't want you guys to miss out if you want like different outfit combinations. Leave me some comments of how you would style up this cardigan. I feel like spring is the perfect season to introduce the cardigan. It's getting a bit warmer. You don't necessarily want a coat anymore, but I'm a cold girl, so like I do like a cardigan. And yeah, I think this one in particular looks, really looks, and would see us through the spring season. Okay, next up, I picked up this chocolate brown cropped blazer. It's in a size 14 and it's a very lightweight cropped blazer, full sleeves. This is what it looks like from behind. Spring is the perfect season for cropped jackets. You can just throw on a cropped jacket over a dress or over an outfit and you're good to go. Well, you've got to buy them separately, but it's actually a co-ord. So it's got the chocolate brown wide leg trousers uh, that match which I'm going to show you next. I'm showing you guys this on its own first because it's so versatile like you could wear this as a suit, work wear through the spring because it's lightweight like I said and lightweight tailoring and suiting is a great option for work wear. It also looks great with like trainers and dress down Hailey Bieber style. There's just so many outfit combinations and I love the chocolate brown. I just love a tonal outfit. So I've gone for the chocolate brown because paired with all the creams in my wardrobe. Oh my God, tonal heaven. Here are the trousers. So they've got the slight darting in here as well. So it looks a little bit like suit trouser, but because they're like super, super stretchy and lightweight, so comfortable you guys. So they're full trouser length and they are wide leg, which I love a wide leg. What a great combination to add to your spring wardrobe. We can get so much wear out of this cohort together or separately. I picked up the trousers in a UK 14. It's no secret I love a wide leg trouser and they go with every type of footwear you probably own, well most of them anyway. Oh one more thing, I nearly forgot to say, this cord, like I said, it's lightweight. It's actually in this crepey style fabric and I'm just going to point that out now in the video just in case you guys buy it from one of the links below on my recommendation and then you get it home and you're like oh it's this crepey fabric. Obviously we're dealing with a fast fashion brand but the reason why I've chosen this in particular and bought into it myself is because I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah not the best fabric but it still looks really good. Okay, now we've got another pair of lightweight trousers, this time in black. I feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of black trousers. Find a pair that suits your style the most. Invest in a good, decent pair and they will more than likely become like so wearable in your wardrobe. I've actually invested in these, the Colossus. Now you can go wrong being short like me, five foot three, so I am quite petite and these could potentially make me look shorter because they're cropped. However, if you choose a high waisted um, situation, then it will elongate your legs and you can get away with more collots. And I don't know why, I thought I'd try them. I've never styled collots before. I like the way they look. 
in certain outfit combinations so yeah i just wanted to try a pair myself i saw these on boohoo they are ribbed now they are quite see-through to be honest i'm gonna have to obviously wear my nude underwear with these because they are quite see-through but i thought i would try them anyway and see how i feel about them if i do like the way they look on me and i feel like they'll be a staple in my wardrobe i'll probably invest in a like a better pair so yeah, they're super stretchy, ribbed material, super comfy and floaty, so perfect for the spring. So I picked these up in a size 12 because I wanted them to be fitted in at the waist because they're super wide. And I also thought they would look great with the monochrome cardigan because I don't own a black pair of trousers. I haven't worn black for about, oh my gosh, probably about three years I've not worn black. So, yeah, we're going to see how we feel with this monochrome situation. But, yeah, I thought they would look great with this slouchy cardigan and some flats. Large sunglasses, large tote bag, that kind of a vibe. Okay, next up, I picked up this plain white shirt situation. And it's got the most adorable floaty sleeves. And I just think that's really, really pretty. I do tend to have a bit more of a feminine edge to my style. So, yeah, it's very feminine on the sleeves. They're very slouchy. Nice little blouse. Would be great for work wear in the spring. And just with jeans as a casual, like, outfit combination. The shirt is a classic in my wardrobe. Love a shirt. Because I've got bigger boobs and I'm a short kind of a girl... The shirt neckline really flatters me personally and there's so many different outfit combinations you can do with a shirt. Let's just talk about spring key staple pieces. A white top, a white shirt or a white t-shirt is going to be a staple in your wardrobe and it's just which one suits you the most. And it's just a case of knowing your own body isn't it? So like I said... The shirt flatters me the most, my body type, and it's where I feel most comfortable. I get the most outfits out of. I have tried the white, the classic white t-shirt. They don't look great. I think it's the neckline with it being round and quite like high up. It just doesn't suit my, my boobs just feel too big in them. I don't feel like I look my best or I don't feel my best in them. And... I don't know what it is about a white t-shirt, guys, but I just tend to attract stains to it, like, immediately. <laughs> I cannot keep a white t-shirt white. I buy one, it's great on the first day, after that, it's a goner. Anyway, whether you go for a white shirt, a white t-shirt, or a little white crop top, either one will look great with your jeans in the spring or any other trousers that you feel comfortable wearing. I am not a jeans kind of a girl. I don't know why. I just find denim so uncomfortable. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. I prefer a pair of wide leg trousers. As much as I love a plain basic item, I feel like you can upgrade the item if you find some sort of detail on it like this. It's a plain white shirt, however, the sleeves just add that little bit of something something. I feel like that elevates the outfit immediately. Anyway, I picked this up. It's It says it's ivory. I would say that's like pure white. So I've got this pure white Ralph Lauren shirt on at the moment. And just for like context, it's not far off in colour even though it says ivory. It's a very on the white side. Anyway, I picked it up in a size 40. Again, it's pretty see-through but so is, I suppose, every white item you would buy in your wardrobe if you're introducing white it's probably going to be see-through so make sure you're wearing all your nude underwear underneath that this one is in like a stretchy almost almost crepey material but i guess it won't crease that bad so that's great and now i have got two dresses to show you guys i'm gonna say the best one till last but they're both equally as nice so first of all we have this one so this is a midi dress it's got this smock style hem detail it's in this beautiful olive color as well and i just love that it's got all this like 
high neck detail on it. It's in this gorgeous olive green colour. What is it with me and green dresses? I feel like we did this last year. Every single dress I seem to buy in the spring and the summer was green for some reason. But I do love this like muted earthy olive green colour. I feel like it works really well with all my neutral wardrobe. I just really, really love it clearly um yeah i picked up this dress in a size 12 because it is like a loose smock dress it's got this tie waisted detail so you can cinch in at the waist to where you want it to be so it's super floaty really nice for the spring summer it's got these button up detail here which i think is really really pretty also these tie details so yeah, very loose, very floaty. If you're like me and you're too hot in the spring summer, I just do not want anything on me at all. So like the floatiest of fabrics and the airiest of like clothing, if that's even a word. But yeah, it's got this high neck frill detail. I love a high neck. I feel like there's something really sophisticated about a high neck that elevates an outfit or an item yeah it's got the high neck detail but you don't have to have it high neck you can leave it open and it be more casual or you can tie these little ties and have it like really high neck it's also got these voluminous sleeves with this tie detail as well which I always find really really flattering and pretty did I mention what size I picked this up in it is in a size 12 like i said it's described as khaki but i would suggest it's more olive green than khaki so it's midi length and you can't go wrong with a midi dress in the spring summer such a staple effortless outfit by the way so this makes a great transitional outfit it's a great day dress you could pop on a cropped jacket or a cardigan during the day and you can also switch it up in the evening with some heels and have it like as an evening date night dress come summer it's a great garden dress whatever the activity in summer this dress is probably going to be my go-to okay guys this is potentially my favorite item of the whole haul <laughs> and it's this one how nice is this dress now i haven't tried this on yet because i'm so far behind with this video i've only tried on half of this haul and then i've got the other half to film after i've filmed this section of the video so i haven't actually tried on this dress or styled it yet for this video but i'm hoping it fits and i'm hoping it's as beautiful on as it is on the hanger I am so excited about this dress. I don't even know where to start. Okay, first of all, this absolutely does not look like a boohoo dress. It looks far more expensive than what it is. And I think that is the pleated detail here. Okay, let's talk about the colour. It's this muted olive green again. Very pastel looking. So it's a very, very beautiful shade of green. It's kind of textured. I don't know is it like a chevron chevron textured and the chevron pattern goes into different ways all over the dress which makes the details of the dress really stand out it's got this midsection here which is almost corsety which gives it something something it gives it a bit of looks love that which then in turn almost creates this ruching effect here around the blouse style top i don't know there's something so 1920s about it and i really love it it's got a high neck which i love a high neck personally like i said i feel like there's something so elevated and modest about a high neck okay so the whole dress is lined so it's not see-through because it's almost got this chiffon style fabric over the lining so it makes it look really really like floaty and nice anyway the sleeves then we've got the shoulders, which are all ruched down the sides here, which is absolutely stunning detail again, into this floaty voluminous sleeve. And then we've got some elasticated bottom, so you can do three quarter sleeve or a full sleeve. Now there's no lining in the sleeve, so you're gonna get that really nice see-through sheer 
sleeve look. My gosh, there's so much beautiful detail going on in this outfit, in this dress that I just like, I could talk about it forever. And I've not even tried it on yet, like I said. So it's a midi dress, very, very classy. And it's got the pleats in the skirt detail at the bottom, which makes this dress the perfect budget dress for wedding season. Imagine this dress as a guest. How beautiful. So if you've got any weddings coming up, this dress would make the most perfect wedding guest dress. Zip, concealed zip fastening, and then a little green button here that fastens up at the back. And I picked up this in a size 14. It's the high neck midi dress in sage. Not only will this dress look great as a wedding guest dress, but also in the spring and summer for like date night or baby shower or any other spring summer events really. And that's all we have for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which pieces you like the most, if any, down in the comments down below and I will meet you there. And I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!